<laughs> While Tigbird sits on Hippo's back. <laughs> You see, Tikba didn't always sit on Hippo's back. <laughs> Look at us, hmm? two fine birds and such beautiful calm water. Oh, my favorite time of day. You'd never ever see Tikba near Hippo, if she could help it. <sighs> A nice quiet morning drink. <laughs> Hippo, not again! In fact, there was a time when Tickbird and Hippo weren't friends at all. Hippo! Hippo is not funny. It's not funny. Mm. A tick. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Tick. Get off. I have tickly skin. I don't like being stood on. Stop splashing. It's not funny. It's not oh, funny. Get off. Silly. Get off. Stop splashing. I'm ticklish. <laughs> don't like it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Peace and quiet at last. Maybe now we can have a drink before Hippo starts splashing about again. <sighs> mm. oh. Oh. It would be nice if we could all have our breakfast in peace. Mm. Mm. So snappy. I think we're safe. <laughs> mm -hmm. <Woo> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Enough! Let's find somewhere else to drink. Oh. <laughs> oh! A water hole that stretches as far as I can see. At last, a peaceful drink. <laughs> Salty water! Yuck! <laughs> well, what do you expect from the sea? Tortoise? This is the sea? Oh, yes. I like to come and warm my shell on the sand just as the sea is going out. Going out? Where to? Who knows? But out it goes and in it comes again. Twice every day. You see, before... The sea came all the way up to here. <gasps> and now look how far away it is. <laughs> it's so clever. They call it a tide, you know. That's all very well, Tortoise. But I don't like the taste of the salty sea for my breakfast drink. Well, what's wrong with the water at the water hole? Hippo is in it. Oh, she ruffled her feathers this morning. All that splashing and splashing and the splishing. I know, I know. It's about time some beast told Hippo to stop. That's it! And I'm going to tell her. Oh, it's high time some little beast taught that big beast a lesson. Come on! Tickbird, what are you doing? Whoa! Oh, Hippo! Oh. <laughs> Please, Hippo, stop! Hippo! <laughs> Hippo won't listen. You'll just get splashed again. <laughs> Hippo! Stop! Splashing and splashing every beast. It's not funny. Not funny at all. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> Quite right. Well said, little bird. <laughs> splashing is not funny. <laughs> get off. I have tickly skin. I don't like being stood on. <laughs> don't like me standing on you. Eh? Uh, no, I don't. No. Get off. Get off. Please. <laughs> then I challenge you to a contest. <laughs> a contest? <laughs> you challenge me? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And if you win, then you can splash all you like. <laughs> Is that it? No. If I win... I can stand on you forever. Huh. If you win, 
Not a chance. What is this challenge, Tickbird? The challenge is who can drink the most water in a single gulp? <laughs> <laughs> but you'll never drink more than me. <laughs> Do you accept the challenge? Of course I accept, because I will win. No doubt about it. <laughs> you have all heard. Hippo has accepted the challenge. Mm -hmm. You, Tickbird, must choose the time and place. <coughs> we will go to the sea. And the time? Tomorrow, breakfast time. Attention all. <clears throat> the challenge is set. Tomorrow, breakfast time at the sea. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you thinking, Tickbird? If you have a plan, I would like to know. I do have a plan, but it's a secret. We won't tell anybody. What are friends for? Well, I chose the sea because of what Toy Toy said. Ah, clever tick bird. The tides. Uh -huh. The tides? The water going up and down twice a day. Huh? Sorry, still don't get ya. Big head sea, tiny brain. <laughs> don't worry, elephant. I don't understand it either. Shh, you'll have to wait and see. <laughs> see you at <gasps> breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a contest to see who can drink the most water in one gulp. Not much of a contest if you ask me. I didn't ask you, Hippo. Now, you will drink first. If Tickbird wins, <laughs> ahem, Tickbird will be allowed to stand on Hippo's back forever. Hmm. But if Hippo wins, Hippo can splosh and jump as much as she likes. Is it understood? It is. It is. Hippo, it is time for you to take your drink. Ooh, the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, elephant, watch this, watch this. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Beat that, little bird. Hmm. Right. <laughs> Come on, Tick Bird. Yay, Tick Bird. Not yet. Not yet. Hippo drank the water from this line to this line. And Tickbird drank the water from this line all the way to this line. Hey! Well done, Tickbird. The difference is clear. I declare Tickbird the winner. <laughs> well done, Tickbird. Tickbird can now stand on you anytime she likes. <laughs> it's not fair. It must be a trick. Shush, Hippo. You must honor the challenge. Oh, right. yes. Oh, yes, Your Majesty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know? From the day of the Great Water Challenge, every animal was happy because Hippo didn't splish and splash all day. Tickbird was happy because she had all the food she could eat. Mm. Yummy, yummy ticks! Mm. And Hippo was happy because Tickbird ate all the tickly ticks. And that's why Tickbird sits on Hippo's back. I still don't get it. Tickbird didn't really drink half the sea. It was the tide going out. But going where? Never mind, elephant. Tickbird won, and that's all we need to know. Every animal was happy. Ah, out of my way. Ah. Oh! Mm. Except crocodile. But that's a whole other story. <laughs>
Why frog croaks? La 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 la. You see, there was a time when frog didn't just ribbit. He sang like a bird. And when frog sang, every beast in Tinga Tinga would come to listen. Jumbo monkeys. <laughs> Settle down, monkey. <laughs> The world is a song where a note is never wrong Where there is stinger and there is sting And you need no words to sing Yeah, you need no words to sing I said you need no, yeah, you need no You need no words to sing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this, do bop, do, be that, do bop, do. Yes, you need no words to sing. Yeah, do bop, do bop, do, do, be down, do be, do, 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 do. You need no words to sing. Santa Santa, thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Santa. Bellissimo, bravo, encore. Well done, frog. Well done, frog. Have all you birds gone mad? It's a frog. He may look like a frog, but he sings like an angel. I don't believe it. Ah, this is a disgrace. What a voice! What a voice! It is not right! It is not right, I tell you. Crew, what's your problem? Your Highness, I just don't think it's right for a frog to sing. We birds are supposed to sing. That's why it's called bird song. I agree with Crow. Where's our pride? Lions roar, snakes hiss, and birds sing. Birds sing! Birds sing! Well, most birds sing. You parrot, just talk. Talk and copy. Copy talk. I don't! You know you do. You know you do. See? Ah. Tosha, enough! Birds, please, have some manners. Frog sings very nicely. We have no right to stop him singing. <coughs> Maybe Crow is right. Birds are the masters of song. Not frogs. Not frogs, not frogs, not frogs, not frogs. Not frogs, oh. not frogs, not frogs. Indege, not frogs. birds. Why can't you both sing? You could invite Frog to sing a duet with your greatest feathered singer, Crow. Sorry, I had uh, But what is a duet? A duet means two voices singing together. It sounds sweet and it sounds good. Like this. Are you ready, Crow? <laughs> the Frog and Crow Duet. I shall look forward to it, birds. But if Crow and Frog do a duet, how will we know who is the best singer? This will not be a duet, but a duel. <laughs> Sorry, your eagerness, but what is a duel? A duel is a battle of the voices to the bitter end. Like this. But that isn't what Lion meant. But that is what it shall be. <laughs> a duel, not a duet. 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 It was wonderful, Frog. When you sing, everyone is peaceful and happy. Oh, you really think so? Oh, I don't think so. I know so. Acha. <laughs> <laughs> Jumbo Frog. Jumbo Crow. I wanted to congratulate you on a very good concert last night. Why, thank you. <laughs> a little bird once told me. But you have a lovely singing voice, too. <laughs> oh, you flatter me, Frog. Actually, I was wondering if you would join me in a sing-song. You know, like a duet. To sing a duet with a bird. What an honor. Tonight? I would be delighted. Excellent. A duet to end all duets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust Crow. She twitches too much. Well, I jump too much. And you like me. <laughs> Jumpy is not the same as twitchy. 
something's not right. A duet. A duet with Crow and Frog at the Lily Pond tonight. <laughs> A duet. <sighs> Harry told us, or you'll miss the concert. <sighs> Duet tonight. Pass it on. I do it. Pass it on. I do it. Pass it on. I do it. Pass it on. Ooh. <laughs> I'm huh? and frog duet. Remember, Crow, you must sing and sing and do not stop. Make sure the last sound the animals hear is your own. A duel. Not a duet. A duel. Not a duet. Shh! Frog mustn't find out! Ah! Frog mustn't find out! Frog mustn't find out! Frog hmm. mustn't find out. Here's a song that sung for you, a song that sung by two. Cause a song is much more fun, sung by two and not by one. <laughs> yes, a song is much more fun, sung by two. And not by one. Shoo be do be be, shoo be do be be, shoo be do be be. Oh, I love Frog's voice. Ooh, it brings out the beast in you. Not bad for a frog, but not a patch on crow. Frog's voice is too low. Ooh, listen, that bird can sing, you know. Frog sings better, but crow sings higher. But frogs got soul, and that's what matters. I was to worry. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. A duet to end all duets. A duel, not a duet. No animal must know, especially not frog. Oh, not a duet. They'll both ruin their voices. <laughs> Why don't they stop? They'll both spoil their voices. <laughs> Frog, stop! It's not a duet, it's a duel. To the bitter end, you must stop. Tosha, stop! This is not a duet, it's a duel! Not frog or any other beast would sing better than a bird ever again. Oh, no! Did I miss the duet? It was a duel! Frog has nothing left but a croak. Nothing left but a croak. And that is why Frog croaks. He sang and he sang and he sang until he had no more voice in him. Crow never sang again. Where are sparrows? Where are sparrows? Where are sparrows? <laughs> well, that's a whole other story. Ribbit. <laughs>